Hey guys, so this is going to be the second episode of the surgery series, or surgery mini-series. So this is going to be about what I'm taking to France. Um, I've got my trusty little box here, all my stuff in that I've been collecting, um, just to make sure that I don't actually forget anything, because it would really suck if I forgot something. So, here goes. So, first off, um... I've had to buy quite a lot for this trip. Um, I didn't realise it was going to be quite so expensive, but I also realised that half of my clothes are actually too small for me. So I had to buy some larger clothes so that when I'm filled with gas and everything and after surgery where I'm feeling really bloated and really in pain, I, I needed some baggier clothes. So I had to buy a load of them. So yeah, I haven't got everything in this box. I haven't actually bought everything yet, but I thought might as well go through what I have got. Um, you can maybe remind me of what I haven't got and I need to get. So yeah, here we go. So, in my in my trusty box here, you see this? I've got a shirt. It's quite a nice shirt. I'll try and keep it as folded as possible. Um, Button-up shirts, because if I don't have button shirts, the nice pink one, quite pink, um, it's going to be really difficult for me to keep getting a t-shirt on and off with my chest in pain. Um, nice sky blue shirt, I like that one, and there's a blue checkered one for you guys, so yeah I've got four shirts, um, I probably won't actually take all four, um, I think that'll just waste room in my suitcase to be honest, I'll probably pick two, um, if you've got a favourite two, you're welcome to share, so I know which two to take, so otherwise I'll be sitting here forever, um, I have vests, I've got a so I think it it would be good. It means I can show I can give my chest a breather without a problem. They're also really large, really baggy. I can get them on and off really easily. So a slight pink kind of coloured one here, which is quite nice. Uh, for some reason, I'm really into pink at the moment. And I've got one of those more racer back ones. There's literally nothing to it, but I feel like why not? I'm allowed to have my chest out. I have shorts. I have swim shorts. Not that I'm going swimming. I just I really like them. They're really baggy and. They're comfy. Um, I've got tracky shorts for when I'm in bed. It's not quite, yeah. Um, I've had those a while, but I like them. And I bought some new shorts as well, which are a bit like some trackies that I have, but they're just they're just sort of basic black. Also large, so it's not restricting me. I have what else have I got here? I have a travel kit, um, so I can put all of the shampoo and stuff like that in it. Um, without going over the limits and getting things taken off me when we get to the airport, because that would be the worst thing in the world. I have wet wipes. They're going to come in handy, trust me. Um, when I can't be asked to get in the shower, or I don't have the energy, or I'm in too much pain, or whatever, wet wipes. Used it many times camping. It, it works. It, it does the job for a day or two. Um, I have one post-op binder, it's velcro, it's it's not pretty, um, I'll give you a rough idea of what it looks like, hold on, there we go, post-op binder, that's literally as tight as I can actually do it myself and it's, I'm struggling to breathe, different angles, there's not really, but obviously it'll fit so much better when I, oh, God. um, oh, haven't got a chest in the way, um, basically. I have my passport, brand new, it has my proper name in it, um, and, oh you gotta check this out because it's really cool, without giving out all of my details about this cover, all of that up, can you see it, can you see it, where is it, I can't find it, there, you see it, there's a little M, do you see it, I think it's just, just there, just there, you see that? Yeah, right there, that M, yeah, it means I'm male. I've also got my um, European health insurance card, might come in handy, you never know, I keep that with my passport so I don't lose it. I have got, I've got five little um, travel adapters because France are weird, they don't, well, never in the world apart from England, I think, use the little three-way sockets, I've got five of them for each of us. Uh, Toothpaste, little one. Uh, I've got deodorant, 
but this deodorant is fragrance and alcohol free. Um, only because otherwise it will really irritate and that will be a massive problem. I also got my credit card through. Brilliant. Um, this means that if I do run out of money, I do have a backup just in case, which is always nice to know. Um, and then the last thing I've got is a is a dressing gown because I figured I'm actually going to spend most of my time in boxes and a dressing gown. So yeah, um, there are obviously I obviously need another post op binder, so then I can keep switching it and wash one whilst I'm wearing one, etc., etc. Um, I also are going to hunt out my flip flops because I need flip flops because putting shoes on will be a nightmare. Uh, I've got to debate what shoes I'm going to wear. That's that's a good point. I haven't actually thought about that. Shoes. I wanted to take a pillow, but I don't know if I can because I have a feeling I'd have to put it in my suitcase and it's not going to fit in my suitcase because pillows are actually quite big. So I'm not sure about that one. I might have to cope with that. But I might take a teddy. I'm thinking of taking a teddy. I'm pretty sure I saw a teddy somewhere. Teddy. He felt so cute. And he's so little. And he will come with me and he would just sit there and make me feel better because I think mum got it for me. But it reminds me of mum anyway. I don't know why, but it reminds me of mum. And I know that if I take it with me, it'll feel like mum's there because I'm a bit sad. And I don't know, every time I've had an operation of some kind, I've always woken up and my mum's been there. And this time she won't be. So I'm a little mummy's boy and I'm a little bit scared to do this without her. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I know what else I've got. Hold on. It's attached to everything on the floor, but uh, it's pink. It's it's a three meter long phone cable, so that when I'm in the hospital, um, I can actually reach my phone charger to the bed because usually it's far, far away, and you've either got to get out of bed or just not charge your phone. Yeah, three meter long cable. I figured that would actually come in handy. I honestly, I can't really think of anything else right now so if you can think of anything that'd be great because we have 30 well we have 30 days till we fly out so that's literally well it's it's the end of this month that's it's, it's crazy it's the end of this month which leaves it to be like what 34 35 days something like that until actual surgery so the countdown is really on now um I know that Elliot and I are actually going to try and get in some more chest exercises in hope that our chests will actually be something so that when it's all been massacred then it'll look pretty. It probably won't look pretty. Um, it's nice to think that it would though. I'm also going to miss my um, bearded dragon. I don't know why. I was going to say guinea pig then. She's definitely not a guinea pig. She's a bearded dragon. Um, She's being quite cute right now. She's watching me, but her tank's a mess, so I'm not going to show you. Um, out of pure embarrassment for myself. But I think I think that's it. I'm I'm debating taking my laptop only because I know that when I'm ill or I feel down, I like gaming, and obviously all my games are on my Steam or my laptop. So. I'm deba it depends on whether it fits in the suitcase again because I can't bother taking extras and all of that. So if it fits in the suitcase, I'll take it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'll just have to cope. Um, <coughs> but what I will be doing is definitely taking videos. I'm sorry, my voice is absolutely dreadful at the moment. <coughs> um, I think I think that's about it. Oh, a towel. I, well, this month I was going to buy a one of those microfiber travel towels because they pack really small and they're also really good but um i haven't had the money so i don't know how that's gonna go i might just have to drip dry which will please everybody um yeah since the last episode i've actually had to change the person that's coming with me to france it is no longer my best friend lisa um only because money became quite a difficult situation so right now we're a little bit unsure um, but I will have someone coming with me, and I'll have someone to look after me. And if no one can come, I know that Elliot and Gina will take really good... Well, Gina will. I don't know about Elliot. He'll be moping in a corner somewhere, probably. Bless him. Although, so will I. So, yeah. Um, 
toothbrush, I need to take a toothbrush. Sorry, and I'm jumping back. This is this is how my head works. Hairbrush, stuff like that. And then should I take tweezers? I mean, my eyebrows can get awful sometimes. Or should I take like my razor to shave? Can you even take a razor on a plane? I'd probably have to buy really cheap ones over there. I might just have to go without shaving. Oh well. Um. Otherwise, I think that is. Um, I will be taking plenty of videos along the way. Um, there is also a few more episodes to come for this mini series. Not that I can remember right now what they actually are. Um, but they will be done once Lucy kindly reminds me what I'm actually filming because that's what she's there for. Um, so yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Um, I think that's literally everything that I'd be taking with me. Or uh, I might include a snapback and some sunglasses. Um, sun cream. Sun cream. Might take it. Although I don't know, would that count in the limit of liquids? Like, I don't, oh, this is also confusing. I'm not sure. I don't know how planes work. Um, I'm sorry, the phone's getting lower. I'm losing energy. I'm meant to be in bed right now. Um, I think that's it. For now, it's going to be it. Um, but yeah, if you guys think of anything, it would be really great if you could remind me. Because if I'm not reminded, then I will genuinely forget it. And if it's important, then I'm a little bit screwed. So yeah. It will be my three months on testosterone on Wednesday. So on Wednesday... Uh, uh, if I'm about, I shall do an update for you all. Um... No promises that there'll be any changes. I mean, if you have me on Facebook, you'll know that I did have facial hair, but I shaved it all off because it was it was bugging me. Um, it just looked really patchy and awful, so I thought if I just shave and let it do what it needs to. Um, which gave me a baby face again, which was brilliant. At least I looked a little bit more older with my little tash that was going on. So yeah, I think that's everything. So I'm going to go now and leave you to your days and nights and whenever you're watching this. Um, I do hope that you carry on watching the videos. We do try to make them educational. I mean, obviously this, this one wasn't very educational. It's more just what I'm taking with me and showing you my awful fashion sense. But yeah, any questions or anything like that, you know what to do. Just comment below um, or... I'll put my link to my Tumblr, or there's the Trans Life page, or there's my page, or there's me personally, if you know me personally. Uh, that'll all be below for you to read, watch, look at, whatever. Um, so yeah, me, me, and, um, me and Teddy say bye.